What are LSI keywords? In this video, we're going to show you exactly what they are, why they matter to your website, and how you can use them to boost your SEO and your blog posts and your pages and improve your results in Google. Let's go. All right, let's dive right in and look at latent semantic indexing keywords or LSI keywords so that you understand what they are and how you can use them to rank better in Google. Are you ready? Okay, so latent semantic indexing is a mathematical model that is used by Google to try to find common and related words within a page. So what they're trying to do is figure out what particular topics and keywords occur together so that they can understand what something is talking about. So they use these concepts and mathematical ideas to try to find how many occurrences of a particular word and how many words near each other and all this kind of stuff. It's not really important how it works. You don't need to understand the mathematics of it or what they're doing. What you need to understand is that when you're writing a piece of content, you need to talk naturally about that piece of content, which is good news. It means you actually don't have to do a lot in your content to rank better in Google to use this stuff because this stuff should occur naturally when you're writing natural, informative, helpful content for your users. But there's some tricks you can use. There's some ways you can improve this stuff. And one of them is by looking at what people are doing for the top 10 of a particular keyword that you're trying to rank for. So you can jump into the pages that are ranking for that and see what they're talking about, specifically the sections, the topics, the ideas, and actually do an analysis and see if you're missing anything. So if someone's talking about dog treats, for example, and they're talking about a specific flavor, peanut butter is quite common and you haven't mentioned it in your particular post about dog treats, then you should add that in because everybody on the top pages of Google is talking about that topic when they're talking about dog treats. So another example I've looked at here is SEO tools. And when I look at SEO tools, what I'm seeing a lot of is free SEO tools. I might have only talked about paid SEO tools, but when I just talk about SEO tools in general, free tools is mentioned a lot. And it's a lot of lists of freed and paid tools on the web. So I need to make sure I'm talking about both topics in order to rank for SEO tools, which is quite a broad topic. And if we jump into some of the tools that you can use for analyzing latent semantic keywords, there's one called lsigraph.com. So you can jump into that and use this as a springboard to helping you find related keywords rather than going to Google's top 10 and opening every single page and looking for all these topics yourself. You can use this tool to help you find those. So what you do is you type in your keyword, you press generate, after doing the I'm not a robot and it starts bringing up ideas in here and we can have a look here there's some mention of plagiarism tools which is obviously a tool where you're analyzing content not sure if that's really an SEO tools thing but it's mentioned here top 10 best expert free will probably appear here as well There's a lot of stuff here about free which as I mentioned already so you can get a lot of tips here already by looking at these. You can ignore the ones that don't seem relevant, but you can get some ideas here, which this tool has found by looking at the top pages and it helps you just understand whether or not the content that you've written or that you're planning on writing is detailed and broad enough to cover all of the topics that Google expects to see within a top ranking page for that keyword. That's basically all this is about. It's just giving you a bit of a checklist, a bit of a double check to see whether you've co covered all the topics you should be covering within that specific post. Another way you can do it if you have access to some free tools, I have access to SERPstat as well, and they have a related keyword section. You can use that for the same thing and do a search on that. Another one you can look at is, I believe, Ahrefs actually has a related search terms. So if I type in here, for example, SEO tools, and then search for that, we should see a related keywords list, which stupidly this is coming up in German because I'm in Switzerland, um, but it's the middle section here that I'm interested in. 
the first section actually have it says has the same words so this is a full report of related keywords that uh, ahrefs have found and again we're seeing the same kind of thing small tools free tools top tools and we can look through this and see whether we're covering the kinds of things that Google is expecting to see. Now, none of these tools are perfect. This isn't necessarily the way to get to the top of Google, but it's just making sure you've ticked all the boxes and you've covered the right things and that your topic is broad enough. But if you're planning your content well, doing your research beforehand and writing as detailed and informative and helpful article as you possibly can for every single piece that you're writing, you'll generally find you won't need to do most of this stuff or most of this stuff will be covered in your content anyway. So if you see that concept around, you see people talking about LSI keywords, you now know what it is. It's just the related terms that Google expects to see in any given web page. And you can help improve your content by just double checking that you're doing this in every single post. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you want to see more of this stuff, then subscribe below on the bottom right. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next video.